I'm Paul Prinz and this is Tip Tuesday. One of the things we regularly hear from our customers is the desire to print labels with the information that they have located inside a fresh find. This is very simple to do and you can do it with any roster that you have in the system. So you'll see here we're actually looking at Paul's group, my group, and I'll show you how to do this. So first you're going to want to click on the export flyout tab here and we'll click the export data. What this is going to do is create an Excel spreadsheet. You see down here that that just was created and now we're going to jump over to Microsoft Word. I'm going to show you two different ways to do this. So follow with me here. First we're going to make sure the mail merge manager is open. We're going to go and we're going to create a new blank document. The first way is if you have those eight and a half by 11 sheets of labels. So you just basically make sure your brand is here, select the corresponding number and click OK. And the second way will actually use your label printers that you have for the check-in system. So the next step is to select the file that was just downloaded. The next part that will pop up here will actually allow you to form your labels. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert the full name. That'll include spouses and stuff, depending on how you have the address form, or how you export the file. If you did a family export versus an individual export, uh, it'll kind of take care of all of that for you. State, and then finally the postal code. And so when we click OK, you see the whole sheet updates with the same information all the way through. And over here on our mail merge manager, you'll see we can actually just click this view merged data button and it will update and we'll be able to see all of the information here, which is really, really great. And so this, you just hit print and you would be good to go. So now let's show you uh, how to use your label printer that you have sitting around the church for your check-in system. So you may want to do this for retreat, for maybe you're mailing out t-shirts or sweatshirts, something like that. Um, you know, maybe you have some different size labels. Uh, the first thing you want to do is create a new document and go to page setup. You're going to want to select your printer, uh, in this case we're using the Dymo, and then select the label type you have. We're using the 4 by 2 and 3 quarters for 3 tenths label, and we want it sideways here. The next thing you need to do is you need to update your uh, your margin. So Microsoft Word is not used to printing labels, so it gives you kind of the default margins for, for a letter or a, a paper. Um, and so the margins that I'm using here are you know 0.2 for the top and bottom and a quarter inch for the left and right. So now the difference over here on the right in the mail merge manager is you're just going to select form letter instead of labels. Uh, and then we're going to do the same thing here with opening our source document. So I've got my Paul Prince group my Paul's group roster, and then instead of having a nice little pop-up, we just need to drag and drop the fields over. So drop it, hit return, drop it, hit return, and here we have city, comma, space, state, space, and uh, the postal code. Now, you'll see that this doesn't take up much of the space on the label, so what we're actually going to want to do is go back to the home tab and increase the font size. Uh, I think 24 actually does a pretty good job for this size label. We can turn the preview on so we can actually see what this looks like and you can actually toggle left and right to scroll through the various labels and then what we can do at the bottom, I'm just gonna print a little sample here for you uh, just so you can see that it is all working and that it comes out of your label printer in the way you can use it. So we'll click the print button here. You'll see we have the Dymo label writer selected at the top. It's important to make sure you are you have selected your label printer. And then we will click print. And next thing you know, you'll have your, in our case, three labels come out. So you see George, Patricia, and Jordan. Now these labels you could use for uh, putting them on a package. You could also uh, if you have a retreat or something and you just want to do a fun name tag with fun artwork, you can do that also in Microsoft Word. Uh, any number of things. The, op the options are actually pretty endless. So uh, there you have it, how to print labels with uh, Freshwine and Microsoft Word. Again, make sure you subscribe to Tip Tuesday here on Facebook, uh, Twitter. We post our updates to both of those. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any ideas for a future tip, or questions that maybe could be converted into a tip, feel free to let us know. In the meantime, have a great week, and we will see you next Tuesday.